Welcome to my SU News Channel. Tommy DeVito goes off as Giants dominate Commanders to snap three-game losing streak. Landover, MD. There was no agony of DeVito's this time. There was the ecstasy of Tommy DeVito. Who says the local boy makes good story won't sell? No one game can change the fortunes of the Giants in this rotten season, but for one day there was DeVito coach Brian Dable calls him DeVito's as the pride of Cedar Grove in New Jersey, slinging it around the field and doing something few saws coming. He started a game at quarterback and won a game as the starting quarterback. And not in spite of his play. The undrafted rookie took big hit after big hit and fired three touchdown passes as the Giants ended a three-game losing streak with a 31-19 victory over the mistake-prone commanders at FedEx Field. The Giants, 3-8, should be thankful for the commanders this holiday season, having beaten them twice for a season series sweep. The Giants allowed nine sacks to a team that traded away Montez Sweat and Chase Young, their starting edge rushers. It was a deplorable display of supposed pass blocking by an offensive line that had four of its five starters on the field. But DeVito endured. He finished 18 for 26 for 246 yards, with two touchdown passes to Saquon Barkley and one to Darius Slayton. There were six turnovers created by the Giants' five on defense, one on special teams and the offense cashed in with 17 points. Washington quarterback Sam Howell was intercepted three times. The Giants somehow, someway, led 14-12 late in the third quarter despite having zero, as in none rushing yards, running it only eight times. On their ninth rushing attempt, the vice grip finally loosened, as Barkley took a pitch out and rumbled 36 yards on the final play of the third quarter. Barkley had a 31-yard run in the fourth quarter that led to a Randy Bullock field goal for a 24-12 Giants lead with 6.48 remaining. Barkley finished with 83 rushing yards, all in the second half. The Giants seemed to be in complete control with a fourth down stop, but Jihad Ward was called for an offsides penalty. Kevon Thibodeau was then called for roughing the passer and Howell's eight-yard scoring pass to Jahan Dotson pulled the commanders within 24-19. The Giants punted the ball back and the Commanders had the ball with 1.49 remaining. But Isaiah Simmons picked off Howell and returned the takeaway 54 yards for a touchdown with 16 seconds left to seal the deal. DeVito completed 13 of 17 passes for 184 yards in the first half, shredding Washington's porous secondary. The undiscovered big plays in the offensive attack finally surfaced, with DeVito putting points on the board by hitting Barkley for a 24-yard touchdown in the first quarter and locating a wide-open Darius Slayton on a 40-yard hookup in the second quarter to put the Giants ahead, 14-3. Tempers flared late in the second quarter as quarterback Howell bounced off Micah McFadden and then Deontay Banks on an 8-yard touchdown run to trim the Giants' lead to 14-9. There was no immediate whistle on the field and Xavier McKinney ran Howell out of bounds, seemingly on the one-yard line. That caused a melee and two players Giants cornerback C.O.R. Dale Flott and commander's receiver Curtis Samuel were ejected. When he had time, DeVito generally put the ball where it needed to go. Time was not on his side, though. He was sacked five times in the first quarter, three times by linebacker David Mayo, a Giants castoff. Three sacks in the first quarter? That has not happened in an NFL game since 2016. DeVito kept on getting up, protecting the ball and living for another play. The Giants forced turnovers on their first two series on defense. On the first, Hull overthrew Diami Brown and Nick McLeod was there to haul in the interception. The Giants took over on their own 13-yard line, went three and out and punted the ball away. The next takeaway was more productive. Tight end Logan Thomas on a six-yard reception was tackled from behind by Micah McFadden, with Flat making a hit from the front side that jared the ball loose. McKinney made the recovery and his eight-yard return put the Giants on the Washington 45. In a tough spot third and 13 DeVito came through with a well-placed 24-yard pass to Slayton. Source, nypost.com. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.